I mean, we're biological beings, and I think we forgot about that for a long time. It's coming home to us at so many different levels. We set our practice very young. We qualified in 74, and we set our practice in 77. When we use the phrase, architecture is a new geography, it's another way of describing sustainability. Wherever architects build, we would argue that the sense of geography or climate or sustainability with each place has its own specific response. So sustainability is also about that fantastic thing of reuse. Huge opportunities arise when existing buildings, which had another reason to be, are now transformed. And when we talk about sustainability, we always immediately talk about materials, which is really important, but it's also the thing of people and human beings and communities. Sustainability in relation to people's lives and how they live. And there's something very exciting about that as well, that it's not all negative. As a future, if we rise to it, it could lead to a balancing out of the imbalances that existed. The earth is the client, and in the end, that's the overarching responsibility. Not just the client body for a particular project. We're talking about time in the future. It's a motto of resistance to over-commercialization. I remember when we were designing the building for the headquarters for the ESB, discussions came up about it being nice to see the time of day or to see the seasons from within a place of work. So many buildings detach people from the sky and from the sunshine and from landscape. And what's really important is to be able to embed the outside in the inside. This project was about stitching and repairing Fitzwilliam Street. Our challenge was to remake Fitzwilliam Street and we found it, a wonderful way of really looking at our own city afresh. And then on James Street East, it makes a new street and that's much more monumental. So it was that whole thing of understanding the language of our own city and being able to refresh it and continue it. And also thinking about the well-being of the hundreds of people who work here, that they can look into a courtyard, that they can be outside and inside. They're awfully simple things, but really important. The gift of the project is to make the city block, but also to carve out not just light wells and not just landscape, that modern buildings are not about excluding people, but also that it's possible to allow in the section to bring people through and to open it up, that it's not about defence. It's really wonderful this time of year to see the pleasure of landscape as part of the working day of people. I remember when we were designing this building and thinking... There's a whole world in there, you know, it's not just a glass wall with a revolving door. It's a piece of city. And one of the things that the ESB did stress at the time when we were making, that because of the history of this site, they really did want to support craft. And the bricklayers, the people who actually made the building, really should feel proud of the craftsmanship. Building is actually a wonderful collective generosity to the present and the future. Architecture really should be part of all the engineering possibilities, all the issues that are affecting us all daily. Sustainability is realising that the resources are finite and how we orchestrate all the bits together to make a life better for each citizen. I'm Chris Crowley. I'm a director with Building Design Partnership. And I'm Bernard Seymour uh, from Bernard Seymour Landscape Architects. This building is designed as a next generation building, so the intention was to reduce the energy consumption as close to zero as possible. The building's been monitored for the last three years, and the consumption is shown to be only a fraction of what it would be in a, a traditional office building. I mean, the heating, ventilation, air conditioning, pumps have a recorded energy of less than 20 kilowatt hours per square meter per year, so it's a, a fraction of what it would be in a traditional building. This redevelopment has a huge footprint and it's very interesting to notice with this building at every level there's so much landscape that actually the entire footprint is covered with landscape. That's the type of landscape that's important for biodiversity. When we look back to what was envisaged by Grafton Architects they had made this little sketch of the building and as we all know this is part of the Georgian part of the city so all the time they were trying to pick up resonances of what that Georgian grain was. So part of that was as you walked in front of the building that the doors would occur in a natural gate or step in the same regularity as you might encounter them in other parts of Georgian Dublin, but also that you would look through the building and you would see greenery through the width of what might be a drawing room. The building architecture reflects the engineering principles. And when Shelley and Avon were working up the architectural concepts, they listened to what was required as to how a building reacts to the environment. 